Good morning children. Today's topic movement in plants. Plants do not move on their own from one place to another but can move their body parts for getting sunlight, water and nutrients. They are very sensitive to external factors like light, gravity, temperature etc. Today, I'll explain you a different nature and different kind of movement in plant. That is, Nastic movement. Nastic movements are non-directional response of plant to stimulus. The stimuli may be temperature, humidity, etc. They are usually associated with plants. Based on the nature of stimuli, nastic movements are classified as follows. They are photonasty, thigmonasty and thermonasty. First, let, let me explain you photonasty. Movement of part of plant in response to light is photonasty. For example, Dandelion flower. Dandelion flower, the scientific name is Teraxacum officinale. This flower blooms in the morning and closes in the evening. Next, Ipomia alba. It is otherwise a moon flower. This flower opens in the night and closes during the day. So, Ipomia alba, Teraxacum aphysanil. These two flowers are the example of photonasty. So, these two flowers respond to light. Next, Thigmonasty. The movement of part of plant in response to touch is thigmonasty. For example, mimosa pudica plant, otherwise touch me not plant. This plant folds its leaves and droops inwards when it is touched. This movement is also called seismonasty. Next example, Venus flytrap. It is a carnivorous plant which get nutrient only from the insects. So, Mimosa podica and Venus flytrap are the examples of Thigmonasty. So, these plants respond to touch. And next type of nasty movement is Thermonasty. A kind of movement in plant part in response to temperature is thermonastic movement. For example, tulip flower. This flower blooms as temperature increases. The next example, crocus flower. It opens in a few minutes due to relative increase in growth rate on the inner side of the petals. So these two flowers, tulip flower as well as crocus flower are example of thermonasty. These flowers curve outwards in response to temperature rise and inward in response to temperature fall. So today we have seen about the three kinds of nastic movements. They are photonasty. Photonasty is what? Responding to light. The plant part responding to light. Example, dandelion flower, teraxacum aphysanale, ipomia alba. And next, thigmonasty. It's a movement of plant part in response to touch. Example, mimosa pudica, venus flytrap. And next, thermonasty. Movement of plant part in response to temperature. Example, tulip flower, 
and crocus flower thank you children nastic movements in plants are also a response to stimuli such as contact light or heat nastic movements do not lead to growth and are non-directional movements nastic movements are reversible movements unlike tropic movements pitcher plant and the venus flytrap close and catch their prey as soon as the prey lands on them the leaves of mimosa or touch me not plant close when they are touched here the movements do not depend on the direction of the stimulus the leaves of oxalis move in response to intensity of light they open up in daylight and fold when the intensity of light is less flowers such as sunflowers morning glory and tulips bloom during the day and close in the evening